So last week I made a video where I was reacting to Joe Rogan and he was giving some pretty radical views on marriage, relationships. <laughs> Bitch, I just invested 15 <laughs> yeah. fucking years in your yeah. stupid life. And one of you guys who's been a fan of the channel for a while left a comment wanted me to admit that looks play a huge role in getting a woman to like you. Crap, this thing is running out of water. Here, let me just show you what the comment said. All right, so the comment was left by Tiger Woods and he said, Patrick, man, I love all your shit. You're the best dating coach ever, but would you agree with me that it's a man's looks that get him in the door. What I mean is a good looking man will have a much easier time getting a girl's attention over a not so attractive man and an average man is really just another man that blends into the crowd. Let me know what you think. I am in legendary game by the way, excellent content. Tiger, you make some very valid points and I can see exactly why you might feel the way you feel but let me blow your mind for a second. Come check this out. So here's what I want you to understand about the seductive process. There are five things that happen in every single seduction between a man and a woman. You got things like attraction, connection, so on and so forth. The first step of all of them is attention. And because that's the first step, it's literally just the beginning. But the game is played right here, my friend. Once you have her attention, what are you gonna follow that up with? Are you gonna be awkward in conversation? Are you gonna be super nice? Are you gonna be off-putting? Are you gonna offend her in some way? So when it comes to believing that looks are single-handedly the only thing that matter when it comes to getting a girl's attention, I would have have to disagree. What I would say really makes the biggest difference is if you can work on the vibe that you convey after you start talking to this girl, regardless of your looks. Let me clarify this for everyone so it makes sense to you and you can actually apply it to your life. So when it comes to talking about confidence, most guys get it completely wrong, but what it really does come down to is where do you draw your source of validation from? See, most guys, since they're so unconscious about what this actually comes from, they're drawing their self-confidence from things that come from externally motivated factors. So we're talking about things like your looks or your car, how much money you make. And most guys, because this is their source of validation, their self-confidence is reliant on that. And if you have always struggled to get the results that you want, then you're going to start blaming these things that you do not have for the reason why your confidence is giving off a bad vibe to these girls. And so the key to self-confidence is understanding that confidence starts with you and it's a vibe that that you exude. And that is the vibe that women feel when you're around them. Where does that come from? Goal setting, all right? What are your goals? What disciplines do you have? And are you actually sticking to those disciplines? Because I promise you this, guys who have goals, get that. Guys who have discipline, get that and probably that too. It's crazy, they actually did a study at a college campus where they made this student wear this really embarrassing shirt, like a shirt you would definitely not wanna be seen in public with, and they made them go to class with that shirt on. After the class, they pulled everybody in that lecture hall. Surprisingly, only like one or two percent realized and they didn't even think about it after like five seconds. So when we're talking about looks, oftentimes we'll focus so much on the thing that makes us unattractive. And because it's like such a thing that we focus so much on, we assume other people notice it. But in reality, nobody really notices it because they're so focused on themselves to begin with. Crap, is that a white hair in my beard? Now, what's funny about subjectivity when it comes to women and looks is that every girl has a different type. I mean, think about it. You probably have an idea of what type of girl you're into. Maybe you're into girls with tattoos, maybe you're not. Girls are exactly the same. Maybe girls like guys who are adventurous and go hiking every weekend. And maybe some girls really just wanna stay inside and watch movies. And some girls, they want tatted up bad boys. But some girls, they want a predictable, safe guy with a middle income job. <laughs> so the thing is, when it comes comes to looks, obviously it's completely subjective. And if we're talking about getting a girl's attention, then maybe if you fit into the box of the type of dude she likes, then yeah, you'd have her attention. But again, attention is only the first step and it's so unpredictable because every girl is completely unique. Now, I get it. I used to be in that position too where I would be super insecure about how I looked around women. I thought I had a big nose. Maybe that was why girls didn't like me. And a lot of people might not know this about me, but before I was the guy who wrote the book on attracting women, before I was this dating coach with all these subscribers on YouTube, I was a 21 year old virgin. I got friends on by every girl I ever liked. And I looked exactly the same as I do now. So I can tell you from personal firsthand experience, if looks were what got a girl's attention, it definitely wasn't working for me. This guy named Aaron, he came to my last boot camp and he was a male 
model who struggled to even get a date. Think about that for a second. Oh, looks like the water's done. Finally. So to answer your question, Tiger Woods, no, I don't agree that looks are everything when it comes to getting a girl's attention, especially when it comes to keeping her attention over time. Getting a girl's attention is just the first step and it's as simple as walking up to her and saying hi. From there, it's completely on you and your conversational ability to get her interested and create a flirty interaction between you guys. So I bet you're wondering, well, what made the difference for you? Well, it really came down to three simple steps. And when I started doing these three things in my own dating life and just took action on them on a consistent basis, I started not only meeting more women, but I also was attracting the women that I did meet to a point where now I was able to choose the women that I wanted to date from the options that I now had. So if you want to know what those three action steps are, I highly recommend you check out this video right here where I'll walk you through exactly what those three things are step by step. Go check it out and I'll see you in the next video.